Hey guys, so I thought that I wanted to talk about something that I think about sometimes when it comes to movies, and I do kind of believe that there are two different kinds. I believe there are movies and there are films. And our movies are basically pure entertainment. They're there to make money, to entertain you and make you laugh, uh, make you have a good time. But I believe that there are other kinds of movies out there that are considered films. And by that I mean that they are forms of art, they are more important, they, they say something that maybe a movie wouldn't, and, you know, they, they make a statement, and they make you feel something. They're there to do more than just entertain you. So, I believe a lot of movies fall under both categories sometimes, and, uh, I just wanted to clarify that if I ever say, I thought this was a great film, or this was a good movie, that I might mean something by saying one of those words, because I do believe there is somewhat of a difference. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about a very interesting movie in my opinion. It's called Natural Born Killers, which came out in 1994, uh, directed by Oliver Stone. Uh, I want to start this off by saying that I really respect Oliver Stone now as a filmmaker. He has impressed me twice so far. This is the second movie I've seen by him. and. This one was really interesting. Honestly, it was kind of a terrible movie, but I thought it was like an amazing film actually which was it's really strange to say that but I'm gonna explain that in terms of like why it's not really a good movie you should not watch it go into this movie if you want to have a good time to enjoy yourself or be entertained at all Quentin Tarantino came up with the story for this movie but he did not write it and I felt like if he had written it out it would have actually been like a really good movie, it would have been entertaining, the characters would be interesting, the dialogue would have been really super interesting, but he didn't. Oliver Stone wrote it with two other people, like he usually does, and it became something really, really different. And I think that even though it wasn't entertaining, I didn't really like any of the characters, uh, it meant something. It, it, it made, they made something very meaningful that made a statement. It was basically a comment on modern day mainstream media. And this came out in the 90s, right? So it was a comment on that media in general and how over time uh, news reporting has evolved from telling real stories about things that matter into an entertainment form uh, for, for an audience, basically. You know, instead of like informing the public, they're there to just tell stories that are going to keep your attention. And I, I do believe that this has become a problem lately. Many people uh, are getting attention for doing horrible things. The Aurora killings and Boston bombing. And these people are getting attention for horrible things that they do. And it's like, why do they even deserve to be famous? Uh, you know, why, why are people fascinated with these morbid, horrible tragedies when we could be reporting other things, because not only do we report it, because of course we want to know that something like this has happened and address it, but they dwell on this, they, 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 they just keep recycling the same thing over and over, and people are watching, and we, they don't deserve that. This movie was kind of a big, like, screw you to mainstream media, Oliver Stone's statement saying, hey, this shit is not funny, this is not entertaining, these people are not interesting people that we want to follow around. This movie was absolutely brutal. Um, it was about two killers, uh, mass murderers, 
uh, a man and a woman that happen to be uh, in love and, you know, a couple that goes around doing whatever they want, kidnapping, killing, stealing, and and they were horrible. And I didn't think that there were any real redeeming qualities in any of them. And they weren't likable people. They, they never said anything that was that profound or interesting. But the movie itself said something. And it was that, you know, this is real. This does not deserve to be entertainment. Uh, this is just the scum of the earth. And, and basically, okay, the whole movie was set up in a way that um, you saw different scenes not only from a normal movie. Because, like, honestly, this was not constructed like you were just watching a story unfold through just a, a consistent flow of a movie. It was, like, different kinds of footage. There was black and white. There was a lot of canted angles. And it was all put together very chaotically. There were even flashbacks that, that were set up uh, almost like sitcoms, basically. They were like really old, like maybe like 50s style, like family shows, but with the content of real life uh, horrible upbringings, abusive families, and things like that, and uh, sexual assault. And it was weird because of the way they presented it. And it was like making a statement about hey, what are we watching? We are watching trash. Like, what do you decide to pay attention to, you know? And, and, and it's like we've all become slaves to, to just media. And, and that was so interesting. If this had been any different, it wouldn't have said the same thing. So it was almost like I didn't like the movie because I didn't enjoy it. I wasn't entertained at all. But at the same time, from like my film perspective, from an artist's perspective, I thought this was fantastic. Oh, break it down with the rubric, uh, basically visuals, I thought because of the variety of visuals, you know, there was black and white, there was normal, there was grainy, there was, uh, there was some scenes where you saw it and it was like filmed on video, so you could tell that it was very different. Uh, and basically, I kind of wish that more movies were like this, not just like in terms of entertainment, because if I made it, I probably would have made it more like a movie with this artistic statement in it. I wish movies were bold enough to have this amount of variety in the visuals and, and, and in the way that they present the footage because I thought it was really refreshing, it was very different, it kept your attention visually and that was one of the strongest points in the movie. So I gave visuals a 5 completely. It was great lighting, great cinematography. Editing. I thought this was one of the most well-edited movies I've ever seen. It was chaotic, and it made you feel very uncomfortable, uh, but it was so artistic. This movie was unlike anything I had ever seen before, so I gave editing a 5 also. In terms of creativity, too, uh, like I said, this was... I've never seen a movie like this before. It was the most bizarre thing I had ever seen. Uh, so creativity, I definitely would give a five. Performance, I thought everybody did their job. They did okay. Uh, they didn't, I don't know, wow me, but they didn't disappoint me either. But they did with good with what they were given, so I thought that, that I'd give, you know, performance a three. And finally, we come down to writing. I thought it was written okay. Um, like I said, there was no real interesting dialogue. There wasn't really that much I don't know. Nobody said anything that was that memorable to me, specifically. Oh, I mean, the movie did, but I felt like every th the direction of it was what made the statement, not the writing. Uh, and like I said, it wasn't very entertaining. I didn't like any of the characters. So I would give that a two. And uh, altogether, after cross-multiplying, I, I gave this film uh, an 8.0 which I think is fair enough. Like I said, wasn't entertained, didn't like it very much, but I respect the heck out of it because it was such a great film. So I feel like an eight, it deserves that kind of attention and that respect. Uh, so anyway, if you, I don't really recommend this to anyone that, that wants to go see a good movie, 
but I kind of feel like everybody should see this at some point in their lives just because of what it is. Um, and that's what I think of Natural Born Killers. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.